now you can curve that to whichever way you like. So there we go. I want to have more of a speed line now. Okay, so you're asking yourself, why isn't it red? So we have the red behind there. So let's just take this and with our transparency, let's just hit multiply. Boom. There you have red carbon fiber. And you can play with the transparency to let some more of the red show through or as much as you want. Now, this top edge here, this surface is actually kind of creased up and then tapers back down. I want to add a shadow here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this over here. Let's bring the copy of that down here. Okay. Let's fill it with uh, just a regular color. So what I'm going to do is this edge here, I want to create a shadow. So if I copy, paste in front, and then slide this down, that top edge is the, the shadow edge that I want to keep. So it's not going to be too much of a shadow. It's only offset a little bit. Let me change this. So you can see the two different colors here. If you select both of those and divide, ungroup, shift, let's just save that, delete the rest. Now let's make this black and a multiply to it, maybe 25% around there. And one of the tricks is this point right here matches up and aligns with another point up there. What you want to do, if you want this to snap right onto that object, you drag that point and it snaps right to that object there and it'll be perfectly aligned. You won't have any shapes with little gaps or any, anything like that. So I want to make this maybe, maybe it's a little too dark right now. It's a little bit of a highlight, uh, shadow. And then, now let's add a highlight right to that edge. So with our brushes, the white brush we've created, I'm going to select this piece, copy, just, I'm just going to paste it here for now. Let's actually paste it up on top of this color here so you can see what's going to happen. I'll take the multiply off and full strength. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and cut here and here. Let's switch those around. And let's delete that. So this part here is the lower edge of that shape. Now I'm going to add my highlight. And that's definitely a tad too thick. So let's see what 0.25 looks like. All right, let's drag that down again, dragging on that point so it snaps, snaps in place. Now you can see what that highlight looks like. If you think it's too too bright, which it might be a tad too bright, just knock down that transparency to whatever transparency you would like. All right. So there you go. Carbon fiber red. Let's change this upper to a red color. Give it a gradient. 